grateful this morning for the privilege of getting up. Mm -hmm. People don't have this opportunity to wake up this morning because last mm -hmm. night they went to bed and they didn't get up. Yes. Thank God, we're grateful once more again for the Sabbath day. Thank God, we know and understand that your Our Father and God, to we just give pray. to you the first portion of the day, dear mm -hmm. God. Yes. We pray that you will forgive us of all sin mm -hmm. and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, O oh God. Yes. This morning we bring before you every family that are represented here in this forum, Zoom, yes. by God. Yes, we Lord. understand that it is with great strength and the Holy Spirit that we look forward to come together in this fashion, oh yes. God. Because this COVID-19 business Mm -hmm. It's a wake up call for all your children, mm -hmm. for all of those who are called saints, that there are going to become times that we won't be able to meet. Mm -hmm. God, but only those who are really grounded in you will last. Will Instruments, Lord. Instruments. Mm. Oh, so God, be with the person who bring the, the nugget this morning, oh God. And in a special way, we pray for Elder Dawkins and his teams. Yes. Who are devoted themselves. Mm. <laughs> find the strength to to start to wake up every morning to start this program. So God, we thank you. We pray yes, you. Yes, we magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Definitely. Amen. Sister Ramin.
if I never had a problem, I would never know that he could solve them. I would never know what my faith in God could do. prepare another one sister Alicia but we're going to take another one from you this morning okay um, yeah she's prepared okay wonderful let's look at our scripture focus it says blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God Christ is the prince of peace and it is his mission to restore to earth and even the peace that sin has broken. Being justified, justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Romans 5 and verse 1. Whoever consent to renounce sin and open his heart to the love of Christ becomes a partaker of his heavenly peace. Amen. Thoughts from the Mount of Blessing, page 27. We now invite Brother Trey Johnson with a nugget for us this morning. Let's welcome Brother Johnson. Good morning, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. So our nugget is actually derived from two pieces and is entitled Hardship. So I want you to imagine with me for a second. Imagine a, a, at the beginning of 2020 that God was to say to someone, in the coming year, I've got you covered. I'm going to give you more money than you can spend in the year. So you don't have to worry about finances. You're going to have, per you're going to have perfect health, and you're not going to have one conflict or a single problem. When do you think God would hear from that person in the end? Probably a year later. <laughs> Next never. <laughs> because challenges come our way, hard, because challenges come our way, hard just come our way, and need to come our way, we become more dependent on God. The very things we don't like actually can be, can be there to help us. Pain comes our way in our lives and brings us to God and gives us, a, uh, and brings us to God who gives us the solution to our pain. Pain can be the tool that brings us to see the real need for him. We don't like the pain, but it gets us to the one who can remove it. Our key for, in our key verse, the Lord reminds Isaiah, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. And a flame shall not consume you. Isaiah 43, verse 2. No matter what happens in our lives, we can be, comf we can be comfort, comfort that God is there. When reading this verse, I imagine walking through the roughest time in my life, but feeling the most amazing peace and comfort. I think that's what God wants us to be reminded of. This world is full of hardship, but we can be comforted knowing 
that he knows our hearts more than anyone, even ourselves. He hears our cry and wants us to run to him. In the hard times, it can be difficult to see the good that could come from our quote-unquote mess. So I just want to share three ways God can shine in beauty. One of the things um, we can most we can take most from our hardships is that we grow in wisdom. Growth is never comfortable. It stretches us in many ways, but it molds us it molds us into into who God is. It shows us who God is, and it brings us closer to Him. We lean in. It is our desperation, the hardships and pains and the trials we face that when, is when we cling to God the, the tightest or should cling to God the tightest. When I was growing up in the church, I always told, listen to the still small voice, meaning the voice of God. He wants us to lean in and listen. I remember that sticking with me. God is gentle with children and he never forces things on us that we cannot bear. Much like any relationship we have with our siblings, children, or parents, our relationship with him is a two-way street. He beckons us in his presence and not, just, and not just to list off all of our prayers for the day. He invites us to take a breath and say, Dear God, you know my heart and all I ask is for rest. I need your comfort right now. And finally, we help, other, we help ourselves helping others. I used to think that I was alone in many of my struggles. Once I became aware that others were in the same boat, my whole perspective changed. Our pain can be our, our platform to relate to others. Everyone longs to be understood. It feels good to have somebody who is being there and isn't afraid to admit it. There's beauty in being vulnerable with our pain and our struggle. So in conclusion, we are currently going through an unprecedented time in our lives when it comes to this global pandemic. However, I would just want to, I just would like to let everybody know that God is still God and he takes care of those that are his, that are his people. He will never put anything on us that is too much for us to bear. And on, on top of that, he is always a solution for all of our problems. What we need to do is pray, pray and keep on praying and watch the hand of God work in our lives. Thank you very much. Amen. And amen, amen. Amen. Very much, Elder Fox. Elder Fox. Good morning. Good morning. Prayer points. No points today. We want to pray for the Ministry of Columbia Adventist University as they provide business opportunities to migrate families from Venezuela. Pray that many more families might be helped both there and in other locations. Pray for the radio outreach, which began in Tokyo in 2017. Ask God to continue to open doors for Adventist radio broadcasts to continue reaching the people of Tokyo. Pray for the mission to the city's spoken initiative, seeking to add urban centers of influence and more approaches to urban ministry to serve the people of Spokane. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Elder. Uh, this morning, we have, we're going into a time of prayer. We have um, uh, four persons who have been assigned, but in the time that we have left, uh, more people can come in if we um, focus our prayers. So we have Sister Leith, I hope I get that right. She will do the first prayer. Love among the church brothers and sisters. Then we'll have the outpouring of the Holy Spirit for witnessing with Sister Williams will do that prayer. And then we have faith and trust 
in this time of challenge, which Sister Chlorine will pray, and youths and children, um, Brother Kemroy will pray that prayer. And uh, if we are before our time is up, we can take more person because this is called a what? Prayer meeting. Amen. So Sister Alicia, Amen. I, I want you to give us that song again. And then we go straight into prayer this morning. Sister Alicia. the Lord. Let's now go to prayer. Sister Lee there. If not, Sister Williams, go ahead. Good morning and morning. a pleasant Sabbath present to each and, and every one of you. Let us pray. Most gracious, eternal, all-knowing Father, this morning we are believing children come and your blessed Sabbath day, Father God, to lift up and to magnify your name. Yes. And this morning, Father God, we count it a privilege and a honor to be in company with Jesus, the King of the universe, yes. the one who seated up on the highest throne and governed the affairs of humanity. Father God, we pray that this morning as we come, it's not just for another, Father God, prior meeting as usual. But I pray, Father God, 
that you will lift up a righteous standard in each and every one of us this morning and that we will come to the, the understanding Father God, to know the time in which we're living. I pray, Father God, that our desire is to set the Lord before us always. And that, Father God, our desire, Father God, is to do according to your way. So, Father God, as we place ourselves and the church at large, Father God, the Seventh-day Adventist church at large, and those who we come in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis, that our desire, Father God, is to walk in your way. I pray, Father God, that we will open up our heart to the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. And as the song says this morning, there is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. Father God, I pray, Father God, and I thank you this morning for the presence of your Holy Spirit. And I pray, Father, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and each individual just like the day of pentecost but i pray for the god just as the disciples saw the need to submit all their weaknesses all their struggle all their defects all their faults i pray this morning that we father god as people of god will see the need to surrender all to you and just like the word of god says in hacks that on the day of pentecost the Holy Spirit fell and each individual has tongues of fire and they were never the same. I pray, Father God, that that will be the case for the Seventh-day Adventist Church, that each individual will experience, Father God, the power of the Holy Spirit in their lives such as never before. Father God, we just thank you for being God all by yourself. We thank you for your everlasting love. We thank you, Father God, for sending the Holy Spirit here to live among us. So there are times when we falter, and Father God, it's because of the power of the Holy Spirit where we are convicted to turn. And Father God, I pray that we will take heed this morning, because Jesus, we are living in the last days. If there's never a time that we need to know that it is the last days, it is now. And so I pray that we will be awakened out of our sleep and our slumber and know that our, our time, Father God, is closer than when we first believe. Oh God, this morning, I pray, Jesus, that the power of your Holy Spirit will, Father God, will, will be in our lives, that people will see and they will want to know the same God that we come to know, oh, Jesus. I pray for each individual that is connected this morning and the Zoom prayer meeting. I pray, Father God, that you will take us by, Father God, our hand and lead us to a place that when we left here this morning, that none of us will ever be the same. And we will say, Father God, that it is good to be together as brethren of like mind to lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, this morning there's power in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's upliftment in the name of Jesus. There's quickening power in the name of Jesus, Father God. There's comfort in the name of Jesus. Father, we live in a time that all hope seems for some people as if it is gone. But Father, I stop by to tell somebody this morning that there is power in the name of Jesus and that Jesus still saves and that Jesus still comforts and that he can keep us in perfect peace when our minds stayed on him. Father God, this morning, I just thank you, Jesus. Jesus, so thank you. I thank you. And as Psalms 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in our mouth. I pray that our desire is to bless the Lord at all times. Thank you this morning for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for hearing us. Whatever I fail this morning, fail not to grant, but grant us your peace. And at the end of it all, that you and you alone will get all the glory. And all the praise in Jesus' mighty, precious name I pray. Amen. 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 Glory. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There is a sweet, sweet spirit on this line. 
And I know that it is the presence, it is the glory of the Lord. Gracious Father, this morning we, your believing children, come on this holy Sabbath day in no other name but in the name of Jesus. We come in the name and the power of our almighty God, who is the great I am. We come in the power of our omnipotent, all-powerful God. We come in the power of the conquering King of glory, who is the majesty of heaven. Because, Lord, we need you. I ask of the holy and anointed one that let your blood speak for us this morning. As you use the key of life and open every heart, bridge Holy Spirit on every heart, Holy One, I beseech thee, because, Lord, we are living in a time of the pure view of the end of time, great God. And if we cannot deal, great God, with the footmen, how would we be able to deal with the horsemen in the end of time? So I ask of thee humbly, Holy and Anointed One, because you have brought each one of us this far by faith, Jesus, we have only make it so far by leaning on the King of glory. We have made it so far by just trusting in your gracious word, Lord, and we can all testify that you have never failed, not one of us yet. And I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, do not let us turn back because God has brought us this far by faith. And if we hold on to God on changing hands, he will never, ever fail us. So this morning, I just want to bless your great name, holy and anointed one. You said that you send out your word to perform it. And I ask of thee to please perform these words in our life, holy and anointed one. Great God, you are great and you are still great God. The great God of the universe that have no equal. Lord, perform those words within our life. You are still the God who said all the silver and the gold belongs to you, great God. And not only the cattle on the a thousand hill is yours, but even the spot where the hill stand on is still yours, King of glory. So I pray you will supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Father, build our faith on your word, holy and anointed one, that your word can be trusted. Every doubt, every fear that have crept into our heart as we keep looking at the situation and not looking at the God who we serve. I pray this morning that you will demolish with the blood of the Lamb, great God, and every heart here. I pray you will consecrate it, Lord, and not only our heart, Lord, but your children all around the world, Lord. I pray, great God, that you will marinate us in the blood of Jesus. Set our hearts and our mind free, Lord, and bless us with that understanding that you will root, Lord, in us, great and mighty God, that we would know our God cannot lie, he cannot fail, and he cannot change, and we can claim every promise and hold on on it, because you are not slack concerning your promise. So I pray you bridge your Holy Spirit again for us, and as faith and trust arise, Lord, keep our eyes and minds steadfast and be make covenants with our hearts. Make covenants with our eyes, Lord Jesus. And let us stop looking on the problem, Lord. And bless us, Lord, that we keep our eyes fastened on our God, who our God is and what he can do for us. I bless you and I praise you and I thank you, great God, for your faithfulness for your goodness, Lord, towards each and every one of us and for this opportunity that we could open our mouths and hearts and praise your great name, acknowledging that our God is a good and he's a great God. And if we keep our eyes on him, 
faith and trust is ours if we only trust and obey his holy word. So thank you for your presence. Thank you for hearing. Thank you for answering in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Dear gracious, loving Father, Lord, we just pause before you a few more minutes, Lord, just, just to spend a little bit more time with you. Lord, we come before you this holy Sabbath day, Lord, with our hearts heavy and our shoulders pointing towards you. Lord, as a, as a young man growing up in this world, Lord, you know that the devil has, has it out for us left and right. My Lord. Lord, I know the challenges that we face as children and young folk. Lord, it, it isn't just physically, but Lord, you know that it is emotionally. Lord, oh, yes. as youth and children, Lord, we live in a world where it's not just murder that is killing us, but Lord, the devil is seeking to control our minds, oh Lord, giving us mm, Lord. much more than yes. diseases to kill us, but Lord, it's depression, suicide, oh, Lord, yes. anger, yes. rage that oh, yes. has fueled yes. us to yes. do things that we're not that you are not pleased with. Lord, the events of this week alone, we see that anger, where it can drive people, especially young people, to do things that they know they're not supposed to be doing. Uh, well, yes. The youth yes. that come before you, pleading on behalf of, of every youth represented on this Zoom, yes, Lord. all over this oh, country yeah. and all over this world. Yes, Father. We know that you have a special mission for us youth to reach Amen. people. Amen. People older than themselves cannot do. But Lord, oh, yes. I come before you praying for them. Yes, Lord. It isn't just the youth growing up, but Lord, it's the people behind the youth that are leading them, guiding them to be, mold them and shape them the people that they are going to be. Lord, yes, so Lord. I pray for the leaders, the pastors, the youth leaders, oh Lord, the aunts, the uncles, oh Lord, the parents, oh Lord, who are raising those young, young people. Lord, please be yeah. the minds, please be the lessons that they teach those young people each day that yeah. it may not be in vain, but Lord, even though the child at the time may not understand why the parents are not letting them do certain things, but Lord, help them to see the brighter picture that one day you're yes. building them up to be who you want them to be. Yes. You know that your time That's is funny. coming where the world is coming to an end. But Lord, help that the fear that the young people may see coming from this is not that the world is ending, but Lord, you're coming to collect your children. Yes. Yeah. Lord, so we thank you for the blessing of life. Lord, yeah. even though we see life being taken away left and right, but Lord, give us hope. Give us peace. Amen. Yeah, yes. Lord, when the older folk may see the way out, but Lord, you've given young people something that is truly amazing, a smile, a warming heart to reach Amen. those who are aching. So Lord, Amen. I thank you for that right now. Amen. Lord, even though the times we are in are questionable, but Lord, you you know a way out. So I pray oh, for yes. the children Amen. to not give Amen. up on their hope. But Lord, Amen. Help us to be that salt of the earth that you want us to be, to reach out yes. and shine for those who may not know you. So Lord, yes. I thank you. So as the days go by, Lord, help us to see it change. See a change for those families who are on their last hope for that child who may be doing things that is not pleasing to them. They might want to kick them out, send them to the police station, oh Lord. But Lord, I ask that you give them hope. Give them hope in the time of storm. Yes, Lord. Give those children who may be struggling from depression, oh Lord. Give yes, them hearts Lord. right now. Yes, Father. Send them a message to their minds, their hearts from your word that yes, everything Lord. is all right, that you are there with them. Lord, you yes. said to suffer the little children to come unto you. Lord, that yes. is a true message. So I thank you right now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. As we continue to go on this holy Sabbath day, yes. bless the children, yes, Lord. bless the parents, oh Lord, in a very special way. Thank you for yes. all that you're doing. In your precious, loving name, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What do you say this morning? Amen. 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 Um, Pastor, I give you the last word this morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Let, us, let us pray. Heavenly Father, our God, we just want to thank you this morning for the praise reports that you've been giving us thus far. Yes, Truly, God, God, it's a blessing that we can come to you and place everything at your feet, Lord, and we can know without a doubt yes. Yes. that it is taken care of. Amen. Lord, coming and kneeling before you should be a burden-free moment. A burden -free Amen. Experience. Amen. Amen. Because, Lord, you said that once we cast our cares upon you, that you have it. Yes. The Lord, you told us in your word to don't be anxious, mm -hmm. but by prayer and supplication that we should yes. make our, our request known to you. Amen. And that the hope of Christ would keep us. So, Father, Amen. we come to you this morning with thanksgiving yes, for the real Lord. mercies, Lord, that you have been giving us day after day. Food yes. on our table, Lord, and sometimes we don't know where it comes from. Being able yeah. to provide for our families, Lord, and we still can't understand how you do it. But God, yeah. because you are God, yes. God you, love, you continue to show your loving kindness and mercy to us. Oh yes, Lord, I think of that text so many times. What is mine that you are mindful of me? Mindful of him, yes. But Lord, because of your love, because of the moments where you stretched down on this earth and you created us, Lord, yes. that loving oh, one yes. is still there. Amen. So, Lord, we want to be faithful to you. So we pray that you would cleanse us in you, Lord, that you would continue yes. to renew a right spirit within us. Amen. That we yes. would not be conformed to this world, but to, that we would continue to renew our minds with your love, yes. with your Amen. words, with your, with your actions, with your, with your, with your uh, uh, expressions that you give us every day, Lord. Yes. Amen. That we would be able to share that with someone who needs yes. it. Someone Amen. who needs a word of encouragement. Yes. Lord, we are the feet and hands of Jesus. Oh, yes. So, Lord, we ask this morning that you would continue to be with us, the families who are connected on the soul, Lord, the New Providence Church family. Continue to be with the Ramings, Lord, as they continue for a speedy recovery. Continue yes. to be with Lord, as he has a speedy recovery. So, Father, yes. we thank you for all the things that you have done for us, the things that we have seen and unseen. And, yes. Lord, we know that once this uh, pandemic comes to an end, that, Lord, we will be stronger. Amen. That we will be better. Yes. That we will be able to continue to place our trust and faith in you. Amen. So, Amen. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Thank we you, thank Lord. You. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Ramon, if you do not have another ministry to deal with, can you give us that first song by Sister Alicia and then maybe play some more Sabbath song? We're officially finished, but um, we'll just like you to enjoy the music because we bless the Lord for what he has done for us. And for Amen. 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 So hang around a little if you don't have to run off. Whilst Amen that first by Sister Lisa again and then Brother Ramon will put on music for the next uh, 10 or so minutes. Enjoy. God bless you. God bless you too. <clears throat>